now in its second generation, the Hyundai Genesis is built to compete with the best sport luxury sedans in the business. From Audi, Mercedes, BMW, Cadillac, you name it, it wants to compete with it. So does this Nouveau Riche ride have the chutzpah to pull it off? Let's find out. Hyundai is going for the fluid sculpture look for their elegant Genesis sedan. While the Genesis certainly channels current Audis up front and it looks quite ritzy, you still can't quite figure out what it is if you don't know what you're looking at. And I think that's perfect for the Genesis. It doesn't have the Mercedes star or the BMW kidney grille, but you still get the sense that it's pricey, luxurious, and quick. That's really all you need to know from looking at it, and I think the Genesis pulls it off well. Similarly, the interior looks polished and posh as well. On the all-power leather seats, I really, really like the piping. To me, it conjures up images of Jaguars, Rolls Royces, and high-end BMWs. Very nice and very luxurious. You can even adjust the lower and upper bolsters as well. There's also two memory settings on the door. Note the chrome and wood accents. Very nice. Also on the door, you have controls for your power window, door locks, and mirrors. Plus, a nice place to store your phone here and a bit more storage on the bottom. The center features a very large armrest slash, of course, storage. You get a tray up top, which you can remove, and then deeper storage here. Notice the light. It's a nice touch. Moving forward, you get a little tray for storage right here. And then right here is one way to interface with the infotainment screen. You got a knob here, you can turn it, of course. You can also scroll it up scroll it down or left and right as well and also you have quick adjust buttons home phone back menu map or voice and also navigation they'll get you to where you want to go quickly here you have controls for your heated or cooled seats on either side you can also turn on and off your parking sensors or quickly pull up blue link now, Blue Link lets you send stuff from Google straight to your car. That's awesome. You also get vehicle diagnostics and apps as well. Heading back out to the home screen, and you can see that this is where you control your satellite phone, also your navigation, AM, FM radio, and Sirius as well, plus your media. Now, check it out. It's actually a touch screen too, so you can use it either way, either by touch or by control here. I like that option. Excellent. The transmission is actually an 8-speed automatic. It does have a sport shift it yourself mode, or if you prefer, you can use the paddle shifters on the steering wheel. It also has a drive mode selector. There's normal, eco, and sport, all of which show up in the center on the gauge cluster. And on top of the infotainment screen as well. Up front on the console, you can go ahead and charge two phones, that's nice. Also, plug in a USB or your smarter iPhone. Plus, you get a bit of storage too. Moving up to the dash, this is another way to control your radio and audio settings. You get an analog clock, and this is where you can control your dual zone climate control on either side. On the steering wheel, you get the cool Genesis emblem. You also get controls for your radio, also channel select two, Bluetooth. And on the right, your cruise control and menu screens, which you scroll through here and also here. There's also press to select. Works very well. So you can go ahead and scroll through your menus here. And then also use this roller to go ahead and scroll through. Very nice. The illuminated gauges really look great. Nice big speedometer, fuel gauge, and of course... This is a sports sedan. Very nice tachometer too. Of course you get push button start with smart key entry. To the left of the steering wheel you can control your lights, pop open the fuel filler, also lane keep assist. You also can go ahead and put down and up the rear shade, open the trunk, turn on and off your blind spot warning, and cancel the traction control, which I never recommend. Just below that is the parking brake. Now the icing on the cake for the interior is this panoramic sunroof, which really stretches the whole length of the roof. Very nice. You can enjoy it front or back. 
The interior gives you a really nice combination of wood, leather, and chrome, and I think it's on par with cars costing twice as much. And not just in tech and luxury, but also I think in the looks department too. Out back you get your own vents and seating for three across. You also get a very large armrest which folds down and then two cup holders. Now of course you get a power trunk. Now that's luxury. And of course just tap that button and it shuts right on up for you. Very nice. Powering the Genesis is a 3.8 liter dual overhead cam V6 GDI engine which produces 311 horsepower and 293 pound-feet of torque. It's mated to an 8-speed automatic transmission with Shiftronic and paddle shifters which gets it to 60 miles an hour in 7.2 seconds. A quarter mile takes 15.4 seconds at 96 miles an hour. Fuel economy is rated at 18 miles per gallon in the city and 29 miles per gallon on the highway. You can expect 22 miles per gallon overall. The Genesis Sedan's pricing is all about what engine you choose. Basically, the V6, which I'm testing, starts out at $38,000. You could spend closer to $50,000 if you want a V8. The $4,000 signature package includes power tilt and slide panoramic sunroof, integrated memory system, ventilated front seats, tilt telescoping steering wheel, HID headlights, blind spot detector with rear cross traffic alert, and parking guidelines, plus power rear and side sunshades. The $3,500 tech package includes ultra leather seats, 7 inch TFT LCD cluster display, power drive seat cushion extender and side bolster, lane departure warning and lane keep assist, smart cruise control with stop start capability, haptic steering wheel and pre safety seat belt. The $3,500 ultimate package includes genuine matte finish wood and aluminum trim, heads up display, power trunk lid, premium navigation with 9.2 inch high definition display, Lexicon 17 speaker discrete logic audio system, and dual mode vent control with CO2 sensor. With all that you're out the dealer door with destination at $49,950. Now you can get all wheel drive for about $2,500 more. So that really makes the Hyundai Genesis a bargain, especially when you consider this. It actually takes regular unleaded and that'll save you a lot of money over the lifetime of the car. Now of course with the Hyundai you also get excellent warranties. You get a five-year 60,000 mile vehicle warranty. You also get a seven-year 100,000 mile powertrain warranty. You'll get five years and unlimited miles of roadside assistance plus you get a seven-year anti-perforation that means rust basically warranty. So they do stand behind their vehicles and certainly no car company is into the business of not making money. So they've tested these cars, they are reliable and they back it up with a great warranty. So that really adds value too. Now in terms of safety, the Genesis is of course top notch. It competes with the best of the business, the German luxury cars, you name it. If it's a bell and whistle to make this car safer in terms of technology, it's got it. It's actually amazing. And most cars, if you drift out of your lane, well, they're gonna beep at you. This one, actually, okay, I'm drifting out of my lane here a little bit. And what it does is actually vibrates the steering wheel. That's haptic feedback. It's just like driving off the right side of the road. On many highways today, they have these indentations in the concrete, and so the whole car vibrates. Well, the steering wheel vibrates, and that tells you that, hey, something's up. So haptic feedback, it's really awesome. Now, Cadillac's take on that is to vibrate the whole seat, but I think Hyundai's is a bit more simple. Just vibrate the steering wheel and definitely you'll know something's up. Great safety feature. Now, the Genesis is a real wheel drive car. Like I said, all wheel drive is available, but the standard layout of the Genesis, whether you have it in V6 or V8 forms, is rear wheel drive. Now, what's that mean exactly? Most cars are front wheel drive for safety purposes, but Sports sedans, especially those from Europe, like BMW, Audi, and Mercedes, well, they're all 
rear wheel drive. So what Hyundai is doing here with this Genesis is building a car to compete with them. And to compete with them, you have to have that standard layout of front engine, rear wheel drive. Now what that does is it makes the car a bit more sporting. That means when you stab the accelerator, the back end can slide around and that is, in the purest sense of a sports car enthusiast, the way it should be done tail out to get around the corner quicker. Now rear wheel drive is preferred because that's the way sports sedans are traditionally laid out. Purists like to go around a turn and control steering by the throttle. Now what does that mean? If you mash the throttle when you're in a turn, that'll bring the back end around and glide you through the turn. That's how they do it on the racetrack. That's how it's traditionally done. So that's how you want to do it in your sports sedan. That's why BMWs, Audis and Mercedes and Infinities are all set up that way. High-end luxury car, well, rear-wheel drive, front engine, and in many cases a big engine, but the V6 here is actually very capable. So that's the way it's done traditionally, and Hyundai knows this and they want to compete with the big boys, so they've got to have a car that certainly conforms to that, and the Genesis does. But how exactly does it handle? Well, it's certainly not as competent as an M sedan, but I don't think that's the point here with the Hyundai. Is it competent? Absolutely. It definitely can take a turn very well. It holds on well. There's a bit more body roll than you'd expect in a high-end luxury car, but again, that's not what the Hyundai Genesis is set up for. It's set up for good speed and nice predictable handling, but at the same time, it's not set up for the track. That's not to say it's a slouch. It has gas shocks and independent suspension all the way around, so it is a serious sports sedan, but it doesn't have the refinement of its German competition, but it also doesn't have the extremely high price tag either. Uh, big city. And of course, rush hour traffic. But no problem, because inside the Genesis, first off, you always know when someone's in your blind spot, and you've got heated and cooled seats to keep you comfortable, excellent dual climate control. So really, being stuffed in traffic is not all that bad. And with the smart cruise control on, well, it'll slow you down when the car in front of you slows you down and it'll speed up when that car speeds up. Just set it and forget it. Very nice. Sure, the road might be stressful, but you'll be nice and relaxed inside of the Genesis. There's a car in my blind spot there, and it lights up right there. Now, if I were to drift out of my lane, well, then it flashes that left lane right there. So it's really, really got you covered in terms of safety, and you're just looking straight forward at the heads-up display. So you always know what's happening. Excellent. The rear view camera with directional guides is definitely a welcome feature. You also have parking sensors too. A really great feature on the heads-up display is that it also puts the speed limit right there for you. Excellent. Also excellent is the night look all around. Very luxurious, pleasing colors, easy to read at night, even on the steering wheel. Very, very nice. I like the way the analog clock shows up too. Now this is just insanely cool. Look at that. Outside of the car, it's this Genesis actually is lit up so you can see but that is really cool now competing with the big boys in the luxury car business is certainly tough stuff so does the Hyundai Genesis pull it off well I think in many ways it does I think it's also sort of having a bit of an identity crisis you know it's hard to be a great sports sedan and it's hard to be a very plush 
and comfortable sedan. So I think manufacturers sometimes struggle with the two. I think the perfect example of a comfortable luxury sedan, and I think one that the Hyundai Equus went after, is actually the Lexus LS. I think Hyundai, when they built the Equus, they had a Lexus LS in their laboratory and they basically just pulled it apart and they said, all right, this is what they did, this is what they did, and it's a really good copy of that car, actually. And Hyundai with the Genesis is really trying to compete with the sports sedan market, and it's tough to do with a V6. Now, I actually like the fact that it has a V6 in it because the fuel economy is slightly better. You've got certainly enough speed to feel quick. It's not extremely quick, 0 to 60 at just over 7 seconds, but still, it's respectable, and it certainly has enough get up and go to keep up with the competition. It also has a sport mode and paddle shifters, so it feels sporty in that sense. But, you know, it's not an M car. It's not an AMG. So I think that, in the end, it's a great balance of all these things. I think Korean cars, Kia and Hyundai, are really good at emulating the competition copying the competition and taking the best from this car and the best from that car and I think they've done a good and respectable job here with the Genesis. It's a very good car when you consider its overall blend of luxury, comfort and tech but I think it really stands out in terms of price. No, it's not a BMW M sedan. No, it's not an AMG. No, it's not a Lexus but what it is is a great combination of all these cars at an extremely fair price. The Genesis is not yet a car that'll make the country club crowd jealous. Those who are set on buying an Audi, Acura, BMW, Cadillac, or Mercedes are going to buy one, and that's that. That being said, the Genesis is really an amazing car for the money. Savvy car buyers will see the Genesis for what it really is, an excellent bargain for an excellent car. I think that perhaps Lexus and Infiniti buyers might want to take a closer look at the Hyundai Genesis. It's a great choice for not only wealthy people with integrity, but also wealthy people with a conscience. The Genesis is not boastful or over the top. It has a clean shape that does not offend, sure, but you won't be suffering inside. You'll have every luxury afforded to car buyers who have spent tens of thousands of dollars more, and that's the whole point. After all, Hyundai and the Hyundai Genesis is now what Lexus and Infiniti were in the late 80s. A true luxury car bargain. I'm driving Ivan Katz.